Do you know God as your heavenly father? God is not just the creator of the heavens and the earth, but he has purposefully, intentionally, with intense and immense love, he has created you. How wonderfully and fearfully have you been made and created in the image of your heavenly father, God. He loves you. He's not just your brother. He's not just your savior. He's not just your healer. He is not just your provider. But God is also our heavenly father. The disciples came before Jesus and asked him, teach us how to pray. They were astonished by the love relationship that Jesus, the Messiah, the Son of Man and Son of God, had. His prayers were not ritualistic, were not religious like the Pharisees and Sadducees of the day. But the prayers of Jesus were intimate. They were personal. It was colorful, vibrant. There was a uniqueness, a dynamic to the prayer love life of Jesus. Jesus says in John 15, verse 9, As the Father has loved me, so have I loved you. John 16, 27, For the Father himself loves you. Because you have loved me and believed that I came from God. The Father himself loves you. Man of God, woman of God, the Father himself loves you. Why? We're just human beings. We're just finite, limited, made from the dust of the earth. But the Father loves you. Because you came from him. You received Jesus as a Passover lamb in your life. You took the bread and the body and the wine and the blood. And now you are sanctified in a holy communion with Jesus. So now in that relationship, you have received the Holy Spirit. So now the Father of glory loves you ever more so. He wants to have this intimate connection and relationship with you. You are made in his image. You are a child of the father, of the king. Then what does that make you? Unfortunately, too many of us act like peasants, act like orphans, act like robotic workers. You have a heavenly father. You have a father who loves you, who is near to you, gives you access, and wants to bless you as his own child. When we feel the fatherlessness of the orphan heart, then we become insecure. But God is your father. He is your Abba in the book of Romans the Bible says that the spirit itself bears witness with our spirit that we are the children of God for by whom we cry Abba Father he's not just God and Lord and majesty and King but we have this intimate connection and relationship Where the book of Hebrews says, Come boldly before the throne of God as sons of God. There's nothing to be afraid of. There's nothing to be ashamed of. You can come boldly before God. For he is your father. And he says to you, my child, come up higher. He says to you, my beloved one, come near. I have called you and I have drawn you and I am bringing you close and near. The father 
is tender. He's caring. He's just. He's merciful. He's gracious, generous. He is long-suffering, patient. He's joyful, creative. He's loving. He's caring. He is happy. He is playful. There is a purity, a righteousness, and innocence. Father is here. He is close to the brokenhearted. He is closer to you than you think and imagine. Whenever we feel the nearness of our Heavenly Father, we will become secure. He provides for you. He protects you. He affirms you. He gives you safety. He gives you love. He is your provider. The heart of the Father is gentle and tender, nurturing and caring. The Bible says in John 17, 23, I in them and you in me, that they may become perfectly one, so that the world may know that you sent me and loved them even as you loved me. You love them even as you loved me. In the same way that God the Father loves Jesus, in the same way, measure and manner, God your Heavenly Father loves you. This is the perfect Messiah anointed Jewish man, Yeshua HaMashiach, the Savior of the world. In the same way, God the Father loves Jesus. He loves you. He favors you. He adores you. He loves to smother you with love and goodness and kindness. It may feel odd. It may feel peculiar. But our Father is a Father of the Spirit. And we are made of the Spirit. We are made of Spirit being. And we have been born again by His Spirit. We belong to Him forever. I am His and He is yours. I am my beloved and He is mine. The Father adores you. He's in love with you. Have you received the Father of lights in your own life? Do you relate to Jesus? Do you relate to the Father? Do you relate to God as your Heavenly Father? Lord, I pray today that you will reveal the Father heart of God. How your heart as a Father is to provide, protect, and bless, and to keep all of these precious souls in Jesus' name. Reveal the heart of the Father. And as Jesus said, if you have seen me, you have seen the Father. As Jesus said, I only do what I hear my Father do.